Hello, it's Vicky Gillow, Community Engagement Manager with another um, little vlog. I wanted to show you how to make some very simple um, bowls for Halloween um, or Day of the Dead Festival that we're going to decorate beautifully with some of the kind of Halloween-y Day of the Dead um, paint. Um, these can be used for trick or treat or they could be used for um, Halloween sweets um, and they can be used also for um, those people who like to do um, the Day of the Dead festivities, um, which is the day after Halloween. So um, if you'd like to join me um, for the demo, um, this is um, how it's going to look. The first demo is how you make the paper mache bowl. And then I'll be doing a second demo video which will show you how to decorate your bowl um, with a beautiful Day of the Dead design. So, um, very simply, all you'll need is maybe some ideas of the kind of patterning that you might want to use. Um, I've used paints that I had in my cupboard. You can use acrylic paint, but if you haven't got that poster paint with PVA is fine. Um, just literally get together with whatever odds and sods of paints you've got because these are literally um, very old. And as long as they've got the lid kept on, they're very good. I'm using old paint brushes and I'm using newspaper. So you shouldn't have to go and buy lots of new things for this. We are doing a recycle project and I will show you how you can reuse the balloon even that we use to make the paper mache bowls. Anyway, I hope you enjoy and um, I will go through the process of making the bowl with you now. It's Vicky again. I'm just here now to show you how to make the paper mache bowl, which we'll decorate with our beautiful Halloween design. Can you see that this is the shape of the end of a balloon? So the first thing we need to do is to blow up our balloon to the size we want our bowl. And the bowl can come down as far as you want. So if you feel happier, you can decide exactly where you want your, your bowl to come. And if you feel happier doing it all the way around, you can. Now, if you've got a good eye or you want it to be a jaggedy edge or scalloped, see all the way around like that, that's up to you. So once you've got your balloon like that, you also need some newspaper cut into strips. Actually, I tear them into strips and you can tear lengthways like this along the grain of the newspaper. And small bits like this work best. So once you've got a few strips like this um, torn, you'll need some PVA on a tray, basic craft PVA, put onto the tray like so. An old brush. So we are recycling. Don't even have to deflate this and you can reuse it if we are looking at recycling here and some water in a, in a bowl. So I need water to make the PVA into something like a kind of a little bit runny, still viscousy. And I'm now going to show you how to go about making your paper mache bowl. So to begin with, you want to put a little bit of PVA on the top where your first strip goes. Don't worry, it does adhere to the, the balloon, but the balloon comes away very easily, especially if you do deflate it, but you can pull it away without actually breaking the balloon. So one that way, and then I'm gonna go one the other way to start the structure of my bowl. Just so, just that easy. Now, some people let each layer dry because I'm using thin layers and not too wet, it's just a little bit of water with it, or PVH, a little bit like decoupage, you're building it up. And actually, as I go along, I'm overlapping slightly. So there is a bit of strength being built up like that. Can you see? Making sure it's flat each time and there's a lot of PVA on there. So you carry on all the way round and then if you can do another three layers, you will need to be four or five layers, okay, like that. And you'll find that your balloon will soon form the shape of the bowl. Can you see there? Just there. And when that's dry, that is what you get. So just one thing, once you want to decided where your balloon is going to go to, your balloon bowl is going to go to along that line, you can start putting something along there, just so I know the edge of my, well, the edge of my 
bowl's going to be so along that line and you can just carefully move that around and taking another strip overlapping that slightly as well and anything that overlaps like that there can be trimmed at the end can you see i'm using that across so i've got them going across first and then along and around so you'll see that here i have done the same and i've got a nice line so you can see where all the the lines going over and over and then at the very end i put a little stand on which is literally made with just a little roll of paper of newspaper so you can actually roll the newspaper up and put that there and i'll show you how to do that tomorrow um, in tomorrow's video so we've got the little stand you've got your paper mache bowl just have fun listen to some music keep building it until it's about five layers deep and then leave it overnight to dry so this one i'm going to carry on with now and finish it and um, then by tomorrow we'll be able to take that off put our stand on and think about painting our design.